have you, alright? When the weather gets nice, you can always expect to see a smiling face on the corner of Michigan and Capitol. <laughs> hey. Hey, Joe. Hey, Gail. Hey, Sophia. Hey, how you doing? Good. Tell Mike I said, hey. Hey, all right, guys. Good. Clint Tiver started his now famous uh -huh. business back in 1996. We bought a hot dog cart. But Clint's cart didn't always sit on this popular corner. I really wanted this spot bad. It took, took me about 14 years to get this spot. This is the top spot. I, I work at the Romney building right across from him. Certainly uh, the proximity to the Capitol is really good. Um, right across the street. Get out of the building, out of the dome, go across the street and, you know, and uh, also to give business to a local vendor. And even though Clint promises good food. No if and buts. No good hot dogs. So. And people agree. Clinton has the best hot dogs in town. I've enjoyed them for many years. I especially like the spicy Chicago dogs. The food's good. It's fresh. Uh, I'm from Chicago. He's got a Chicago dog. I only order one thing from him. It's his um, hot dog with the uh, coney. They always appeal to me. I love hot dogs. <laughs> he strives for the cart to be much more than just that. I enjoy ministering to people and talking to people. And I've gained a lot of different relationships with people. He's a good guy. He's a Christian church going man, just all around wonderful guy. People like to be called their name by name. The amazing thing about him is I don't go there enough, but he remembers me. For some reason, um, he always calls me by first name and I think he does for most people too. It's like a breath of fresh air. Uh, we go by and he always greets us. Every He gets to know, I swear, I the know. hundreds of us down here yeah. by name. I enjoy um, what I do. I love meeting people, talking to people. He's always got a smile. He always has a wonderful smile, a blessing for people. And I've got this great smile. But Clint isn't exactly sure what his recipe for success has been. Maybe it's because of my personality, because I talk to everybody and anybody. I talk to a dog. Hey, puppy, how you doing? You know, and the guys that go by this homeless, you know, I feed them, I talk to them, I give them time. Even the homeless around, I know he helps them, and he always treats everybody with such grace. And Clint's personality has gained him some high-profile customers, like Pete Hookstra, who stopped on by during his tour for governor in 2010. He sold hot dogs for me for an hour. Came and sold hot dogs for me because that was one of the jobs. So I thought that was cool. And his close relationships with local politicians has led to some special perks. Uh, I was on CNN, you know, I was right behind Mick, you know, me and my wife. And uh, so people come by and say, man, Clint, did I see you on TV, man? I said, no, that wasn't me. <laughs> no, I said, I said, yeah, man, that was me. But even when Clint calls it a day for his hot dog stand, he still continues reaching out. I visit the hospital and, and I pray for people and, and stuff like that. That's my other business. I'm not All sure right. if just the hot dogs taste so good or it's just he's so wonderful. One or the other, but it works. I'm very glad that he's here, I hope. Uh, he, he stays uh, for a long time. It's been good now, but I figure I got another good five years to do this. Right, right, and because I love it so well, it might even be more than that. But right now, I think I'm done it for about five years. When it comes to making a living as a street vendor, Clancy may not be the Big Apple. But for Clint, this small city has given him some large lessons. I didn't know how much I had to give. The small Lansing showed me that I had a lot to give.